Hey Andrew, here's the video that Anthony spoke with you about earlier putting together to kind of go over how to increase your online presence and your customer base. If you're wondering, I'll answer immediately. We do this because we realize that businesses are focused on growing and they tend to neglect their online presence. And if they haven't done that and they realize that it's important to have an internet presence, they've hired somebody that really didn't know what they were doing and now they're, they're scorned by SEO. So when we put together videos like this, we go over how three things can revolutionize their business and get them customers in the next 30 to 45 days they come back and they say thank you guys so much we really appreciate you we don't have the time to maintain this or do this anymore can you do it for us please we trust you and if that's how you feel at the end of this video there's gonna be a link to Anthony's email you can shoot you can shoot him an email and set up a time for us to talk and go over your future plans uh, so without further ado I'm gonna get started I'm gonna talk about three different things content citations and backlinks the first I'll cover is content because that's what really really gets you ranking on Google so content nice website this is a really nice website what I noticed is that you don't have 1500 words on your website and the 1500 words to 2000 words depending on what kind of job what kind of uh, business you own are a requirement in order for you to rank on Google the reason why is that Google wants to make sure that the websites that they're putting on their front page have content that's going to be useful to the users. So in certain cases, things like blogs and other things like that, when you don't have any reason to particularly put words on the front of the page, will help boost you And as far as getting clients to your web page. And then proper SEO linking to things will get you the customers that are going to get your contact form and in your inbox to get set up for appointments. And then that's left on you to convert. But in turn, you, you need 1,500 words in order to be ranking on the front page of Google, um, the appropriate way to stay there and beat out your competition. So your top competitor right now is Stratton Exteriors, and they do not have 1,500 words. But their back, the back of their SEO, their off-site SEO, is what's getting them to rank on the front because they have no competition in that particular area. So I'm going to go over some of that, that off-site SEO stuff. So... Citations are where you're going to put your business name, your business phone number, and your business uh, address. And occasionally, there are a couple people that will allow you to put your business website, which can give you linking to uh, to back to your actual domain, which will give you some trust, and Google will represent that. They'll, they'll respect that. Um, the main reason why it's important is because uh, Google treats small businesses, or any business for that matter, now today like a pizza parlor. Like You have different locations that you deliver to because they realize that the premise of business has changed. So you have to cite each of the locations that you're working in in order for you to get that business. So, and the reason why that matters is that when I come to Google and I search um, Kitchen Remodelers Nashville, Tennessee, the first thing that comes up outside of these ads, which please note that 73,000 people per month search how to block ads. So there are a ton of people who will never see these ads up here and it's just wasted money that you're giving Google. When you can do it for free, by being ranked with a Google Map Pack, that's why I call it, it's actually Google My Business, um, well you, can, you can rank with proper optimization of a Google My Business, and you can rank organically. So next, I'm going to talk about backlinks, and I really want you to understand that because um, that, again, is off-site SEO, but that's what gets you your trust, and that gets you, where, um, that gets you ranked up higher as far as popularity-wise with Google. So exactly what backlinks are are when another website allows you to link to their site and they share their domain with yours so that means that they have a hyperlink on their site from some article somewhere or maybe some comment somewhere that links back to your site so if someone wants to see it on their site you get traffic coming to yours and Google takes that and says okay well this really popular website must trust your website so we need to trust them also so when I look at here and I see your domain rating I gotta tell you to only have a domain rating of one with uh, 17 backlinks and only six referring domains you guys picked a strong referring domain um, you need more obviously and that's gonna bring you up that's gonna bring you up by volumes but it won't be the only thing that gets you ranked on Google what's gonna get you more traffic more than anything else are gonna be your keywords keywords are how people search for you so if I'm thinking about remodeling my house and I, I or my kitchen and I look kitchen remodelers in Nashville Tennessee that's a keyword kitchen remodelers Nashville Tennessee now, if that's not a keyword you're ranking for, I will never see you. So looking at your keywords, where you get most of your traffic from is from your actual name. And we actually like to move away from that. Because unless people know you, they won't know how to find you. So you want more 
generic um, organic keywords. So your competitor, right? Stratton Exteriors. I wanted you to note something. These guys, their domain rating is so low and the UR is so low, but they have a spam worth of backlinks, right? That means that if somebody were to come in there with a substantiated domain rating that was powerful than theirs, more powerful than theirs, they could outrank them easily because Google would trust them more. To apply also adding keywords that they're getting ranked for, you would win that bid for those words. So I wanted you to see that they're using over 47 different keywords and they're ranking on the front page of Google for each of those keywords. There's, there's three in here that are not on the front page. They're on the, the top of the second page. So that's 47 times the traffic that comes into their site that you're missing out on coming into yours because they're ranking on the front page of Google for it. 593 people, almost 600 people come into your site. You take half of that and you convert those into sales. You've hit another tax bracket in income. Lastly, what I wanted to show you was something that I had an issue with when I first went to your site. I tried to load your site up and it took ungodly amount of time to load. That means that your site hasn't been optimized at all. You guys have to redo your images and change a couple other things. Um, this report's kind of hard to understand, so I can explain it further um, if we talk later after this video. But I just wanted you to see that your site's loading is really, really slow, and that also affects whether or not you're going to be ranked. So, in closing, I know this was a lot of information to try and compile in a couple minutes, but I really wanted to be thorough with you um, with things that you could actually do right now today that will get you success in the next 30 to 45 days. Now, you realize that there's a lot that we haven't said in here and that we could help you do in order to, to really dominate your throne as a, as a kitchen remodeler in Nashville. Please, below this video, hit that email. Get with Anthony and set up a time to talk about what needs to happen next in order for your success. But if you realize that you're able to do this by yourself, or maybe you have people that you worked with before that said that they could do this, um, you're more than welcome to do it. We just ask that you give us feedback to let us know what you got from the video. If you actually got value or some information that you wish you could have got explained better or whatever the case may be. We want to make sure that we continue serving small businesses like yours um, so that they never go out of business. Thanks so much. Looking forward to hearing from you.